Engineering and Research Corporation was started by Henry Berliner in 1930. Berliner was the son of Emil Berliner, who had patented numerous inventions relating to sound and acoustics, and pioneer of helicopter development with the experimental Berliner helicopter. The younger Berliner founded ERCO to produce tools for the manufacture of metal aircraft and propellers. He founded the company in a shed at 2014 Fifth Street NW Washington, D.C. Berliner met Fred Weick, an aeronautical engineer, who worked with National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics in cowlings and propellers on a 1926 while developing the propellers for the USS Akron. Weick also worked on an experimental aircraft that incorporated the up-to-date safety features. In 1935, the company moved to 6100 Sligo Boulevard in 1936. Wyke left NACA to work for Urco on his safety airplane. In 1937, Berliner purchased 50 acres of land in Riverdale, Maryland near the College Park Airport and built the large Urco factory and airstrip. One of ERCO's most significant achievements was the development of the Aircoupe aircraft. The first experimental model of the Aircoupe was test flown at College Park Airport in 1937. It had a single tail unlike the eventual production Aircoupes, with their characteristic twin tails and was known as the Jeep. In late 1938, Urco searched unsuccessfully for a suitable engine for its new airplane. Urco hired Harold Morehouse, former engineer in charge of small engine design at Continental Motors, to design a new engine. He came up with the inverted, inline IL-116, which provided good pilot visibility and enhanced aircraft streamlining. Urco installed the IL-116 in the prototype Aircoupe Model 310 in 1939. The engine performed well, but Urco discontinued it when Continental introduced the A-65 engine in 1940, which generated comparable horsepower at half the cost. Construction of the production prototype was completed in 1939, and certification by the CAA was completed in 1940. The first Aircoupe, serial number no. 1, was owned by George Brinkerhoff, the operator of the College Park Airport, and flown there. It now is at the National Air and Space Museum. During World War II, the Urco factory made several products under contract with the U.S. government, including gun turrets. Urco earned an E award for excellence in meeting manufacturing goals in its war contracts. In 1947, Berliner decided to leave the aviation industry and sold the drawings, tools, parts, materials and distribution rights for the Aircoupe to Sanders Aviation, although the small aircraft market had fallen into decline. In all, Urco and Sanders Aviation sold just over 5,000 Aircoupes. In 1948, Urco started producing aircraft simulators, becoming its main line of business. In November 1954, Urco became part of ACF. <laughs> 